Hello everyone, this is Infinim here, and today I'm going to bring you Mon Mothma, the newest character in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, along with uh, her rebel fighter ab allies. And as we can see, I don't have the leadership Zeta. Leadership Zeta really makes this team tick. If you're ever going to use it on defense on a higher division, uh, I'd really consider slapping on it. But in case you bought the Hyperdrive bundle and you just unlocked Mon Mothma, getting her to gear 8 is actually pretty alright. After gear 8, she's really difficult to gear. She's already two stun guns just to get her, just to get her from gear 8 to 9. And then she keeps getting on more Kyro attacks. But this is a character that if you invest in it, you're going to get a really good reward with these rebel fighters. So dispel all debuffs on the weakest rebel ally, that's really good to dispel debuffs, right? On the basic, because she's always been called to assist. Rally Mon Mothma, this is a very important mechanic that is also seen in Resistance Hero Finn which is very powerful whenever there's more uh, allies. Uh, this ability will also reduce her cooldowns as much as possible and you want her to reduce the cooldowns on this ability so she can keep promoting the summoned ally, the rebel guy. And this leadership set is really what makes the team tick, is the fact that every time they're, they're using an ability, Mod Mothman rebel fighters are going to assist every time and the fact that Mon Mothma assists every time means that she's always healing the team. She would give that Geonosian-like status to the Rebel Fighters. So I kind of tried this battle out a little, bit, a little bit ago. I just wanted to see how she'd mash up against Phoenix. It's not a hard battle. It's just that it takes so long to do it. Uh, honestly, I think Chase are pretty good with Mon Mothma. Maybe they're not that, the ideal team. I heard that Pal is really amazing with them, but um, that's maybe a character that you don't afford to have. And Jyn Erso is used with Cassian's ship. Biggs is a very important tool in um, in the Rebel lineup. And you still have Chase, which are a very good pair of Rebel fighters that you could use. You, I'm pretty sure you could opt to use another tank and Cassian and or instead of Shirut. So for example, K2SO and Shirut and Cassian, we can try that out. But uh, I'm kind of sold on, on, on them. So let's see. Let's please kill Baze just so we can see what he does. Oh no, he got the heal over time since he's like, hello, I'm back. And you don't even have the Zed on Mod Mothma, which she would keep regenerating the protection. This is all down to Sharut's unique, keeping this team alive right now. I think if you're gonna run this team without Mon Mothma's leadership Zeta, definitely use Sharut because he, j he just keeps the heals over time going on. And Baze is tanking all of this, and whenever he takes a turn again, look at this health bar going up. <laughs> because the heal over times are just consumed, I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, let's try to get done rid of the damage dealers. I'm just putting this on auto because this team takes so long to kill people. Also, the like. I even gave them terrible mods and they're just doing their own thing, they don't die, and I think that's pretty decent already. But Jenner's is pretty cool in this team because she brings a revive. Uh, if you were to use Caradoon, that's another ally that would be able to be revived as well as uh, Mon Mothma. So I just chose to use Jen for that reason. Biggs is another character that I had somewhat geared up. You're probably gonna use him in your um, Rebel fleet as well, so he's probably geared up. But I could definitely see you just throw your pilots in here, like uh, Scarab Pathfinder. You're not distant. This is not a Rebel fighter. Maybe he is. But your Rebel pilots that are not slotted into any teams, you can definitely put their put them under Mon Mothma, and she'll make great work of them. So this is one battle of the Galactic War. I'm not gonna try to bore you guys to death with this team because it's so long to do battles. But instead I'm gonna show you something more interesting. So these guys are somewhat modded. Like, they just have whatever leftover mods I had. And this is the bonus tier. And we're gonna beat the bonus tier, which has gear 12 Palpatine and whatnot. This is, this is indeed a gear 13 Mon Mothma. But the rest of these rebel fighters, they're gear 8s. And I think this is pretty cool what's gonna happen. There's probably better order where we can do this Because the base like whenever there's a mass assist the basic that will happen first is Biggs then Baze and Shirut and Jin. Maybe there's a better order for that But it really the, it really like I'm not trying to sell you on this particular lineup to make it work I'm just trying to say that the rebel fighters are pretty good 
uh, by themselves. So let's get this team working. Like, we don't have the auto ability. But now you can see that there's always these assists happening whenever they're using an ability. And now, Mod Mothma starts to do work. Also, why did I keep going after a short trooper? <laughs> So if there's someone we gotta go after first is Palpatine, and then we go to Thrawn, and then we keep going. Uh, we can put some tenacity up on the team, dispel debuffs, and well, from here on we're okay. Base. Uh, this is the Reva. Oh, this is the Rally. The Rally. Rally. Probably not. <laughs> and the buff, uh, like, and the buff dispel from this guy's basic is super clutch as well. Uh, but we just want Mon Mothma to take as many turns as possible, which is why I do like Jin. Doesn't mean that she's the only person you can use. I'm gonna really emphasize that. I think you can just throw in your leftover rebel pilots that you have geared up and use them. That's my case with Biggs. <laughs> but I'm really sure that you can use something else. I do like Shuru though. So, since I have access to them, I will. If you have any specific lineups that you'd like me to try, Please let me know, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make more videos on her unless I were to give her a leadership data and from there try to see whatever they do on defense and whatnot. But they do look like an incredibly nasty team. So now we were facing a gear 8 Phoenix team and we were out of protection and Chiru kept the, the healing going. And now look at what Mod Mothma brought to the table. I know she's G13, so that improves the combined stats by a ton. But these guys are super healthy, like, they barely did a dent to them. Which is in incredible, I think that this team is gonna be another pain in the butt for, for JC. And they're not even high geared, which is the crazy part. Because these are just your standardish rebel fighters, gear 8, 5 stars, this is certainly something that if you bought a rebel, uh, the hyperdrive bundle, this is something you have access to. If you didn't, it's still fine, you might have your pilots from the rebel fleet, I'm really gonna emphasize on that point again. And we keep going after Thrawn now. But, but yeah, super team. Now more protection recovery, they keep going and they keep going and they keep blasting. Call out Alice to assist, Thrawn is gone. And they even get more offense from the leadership, which also helps. Now let's try to go after Vader. Get a stun, hopefully. There you go. And they keep going. And look at the healing as well. If you were to use this team on offense, if it didn't take as long to kill people as they do, that protection recovery is really sick. And so I'm gonna show the point again, gear 10 short trooper, gear 10 stormtrooper, and these guys are just doing work all over the place on them. Give as many turns to, as Mo to Mon Mothma as humanly possible so you can promote this guy. That's gonna make you really happy. And this guy does work a little bit like a Sunfac in the sense that he's always dispelling the buffs with the assist, or a bit like a Soak in a Padme team, so... That is amazing. And look at, yeah, look at this protection. If you were to clean up on this team with preloaded TM as well, I don't think you'd be too happy with that. So if you're ever going to get the leadership Zeta on them, you're probably going to force a decent team. You might force a Treya, which then they can't use on Geonosians, and we had a, par a crash, which is the perfect way to end this video, I'd say. <laughs> have fun with your Rebel Fighters and your Mon Mothma. If you have a spare Zeta, definitely give it to her and try them out on defense, because people will, are not ready for what this team can do. And see you guys later on the next video.